because the leaders, the government leaders, are not enlightened. They're not fully learned. Therefore, the laws that they make are very restrict, are just restricted to deal with certain things. For example, they don't know that killing of an animal causes karmic reactions. They don't know that killing cows is against the highest order of the Supreme Personality of God. They don't know all the duties of the chantry. They have some idea that a chantry should be courageous and strong. But they don't know that a chantry has to be following Dharma and has to take advice from Brahmins and sages. So the scriptures give a complete, the Shastras give a complete picture of what one's duties are. The Varnashram system is designed to give everyone two tier duties. Two tiers means two levels. According to occupation, one has duties. It's like the Brahmins do is put on a path and the Yajana Yajana Dhamma Pratigra. So a Brahmin has certain occupations that are allowed for him to engage in. Why? Because they will be conducive. He will be able to perform them better than anyone else. And they will, those duties, that, that occupation will be suitable for him to maintain his position as a Brahman. For example, if someone is, thinks he's a Brahman, but he's pulling a tela or one of those um, hand, hand carts in India, the, the bicycle ride. Riksha Bala and he's Brahman. No, it's, it's contradictory. Because Patana Patana, the duties of a Brahmana, he has to become learned. How's he going to be learned? Well, he studies the scriptures, then he teaches the scriptures. No, he can, you could say, well, he can teach while he's writing. It's a little difficult. Of course, if someone is, if that's his activity, that's his occupation, that's a shudra occupation. That's okay. Then yes, he can tell people about Krishna also. But for a Brahman, yes, but for a Brahmana, better he's engaged in 
Bhattana Tantana Yajana Yajana is performing worship of the deity. Brahmana Sriva Goswam. And he's teaching others how to worship the deity. Or he's offering sacrifices on behalf of others. He gives in charity and he receives charity. So that's the Varna and then the Ashram. Te varna, potom se stiče ašan. Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vana, Prastha, Sanyasa. One of those four divisions he should find himself. Měl by najít svoje místo v jedné z těch čtyř skupin. And there will be different regulations for those orders. A teď pro tyhle stavy budou i různá osměrní. For example, the Brahmacharya's, uh, he's a student life, He is practicing celibacy under the guidance of the spiritual master. He is learning to be very submissive and humble, and uh, he's learning the transcendental science of devotional service. She said, And then Grihastha has a different responsibility. Uh, he's now he's living outside generally the ashram. He has his own wife and children and home and, and occupation. And so now he's he's setting up a different system. So the Grihastha can be also a Brahma or a Chatriya or a Vaishnava or a Shudra. The Grihastha can be a Brahma or a Chatriya or a Vaishnava or a Shudra. One for. So his occupation will be one thing and his ashram will be another thing. Takže jeho práce bude jedna věc a ashram bude druhá věc. So here in this verse, Lord Krishna is speaking about the mode of goodness which is for the Brahmins. And the idea here is to perform the duties according to the scriptures. And Without attachment to the results, a Brahmana is so he has so much faith in the Supreme Lord that he knows that I don't own anything; that everything belongs to Krishna. So generally, you don't see brahmanas trying to amass large sums of money. It's not, it doesn't appeal to him. When, when Draupadi was uh, one in the in her Sadhguru ceremony, Arjuna, in disguise, he defeated all the others by shooting the target, the fish, in the ceiling, and he took the hand of Draupadi. Draupadi měla svůj obřad svého maru a Arjuna tam přišel v přeleku a potom prostředil ten terč z ryby u stropu a So after that, Arjuna and Bhima was also there, and the other Pandavas were there. In disguise, the other kings were so angry, they tried to kill Drupada, her father, for insulting them. 
Hýma, ostatní pandovci v Přeleku a ti ostatní králové, takže když získali Neopad, ho tam chtěli zabít jejího otce Trupadu, za to, že je urazil. So, Arjuna and Bhima, they protected Trupadu. Takže Arjuna s Bhimou ochránili Trupadu. And, of course, they defeated all the other kings and they took Trupadu away. <coughs> Samozřejmě, že i ty ostatní krále porazili a Trupadu si odvezli. So, the king Trupadu was Astonished what had happened to Brahman, defeated all the Chaturias in fighting. Kralu Drupada was just like Brahman had prized the Shikhi Kshatriya. My daughter has been taken away, my prized daughter, the, the chief princess in the world. I don't know anything about these persons who took her away. So he sent his son just to do that. He said, "Go find out what they are, who they are." So just to do the went and camped out. They were because they were camping out in the forest. So he was watching and listening quietly. And the night before they took rest, they were talking. And what were they talking about? Weapons. So when he came back to tell his father, as I found out who, what they are, because Drupada thought maybe they were Brahmins, because they looked like Brahmins. Že on se pak vrátil k svému otci a říkal, tak už jsem přišel na to, co se začal. On si otec myslel, že jsou právno, ale protože tak vypadali. But the son, sure, don't worry, father, they're chantrys. A on si jenom ujistil, že jsi starostí, tak ti jsme tam šátry. They were talking about weapons. Oni se bavili o zbraní. Is that what chantrys talk about? To je o čem se bavili o šátry. Šastry, šastry, and brahms talk about scriptures. Brahma, ale se bavili o písmech. And why should talk about money? Why should I say about your business? There's some money, you can make some money over here, you can make money there. You can put this in here, put this in bank, and you can do this and buy this, sell this money. Tak se dají udělat peníze a tam se dělají a tohle to vlož do banky a tamhle to koupa. Pak z toho vlož do peníze. Sure, he just, he just wants his work. He just wants his salary, that's all. Friday, she's thinking. When Friday comes, as you go and do some operations, you have to be able to do some stuff for the connection of the family. So they have different mentality. So they know mentality. Okay. So the Brahmins, they're not interested in owning anything particular. So Brahmins are not interested in owning anything. What am I going to do with him? For example, when King Prithu, he received the four Kumars. Four Kumars, you know, the great sages, sons of Brahma, great learned scholars, sages. So he was the... King Prithu was the lord of the whole world and he said, my Lord, you're the Vaishnavas, you're the real devotee Brahmins. Everything belongs to you because you're so dear to Krishna. So I'm giving the whole world to you. I said, thank you very much, now we're giving it back to you. What are we going to do with it? We don't want to manage this thing. If we get involved in trying to manage the world, then how are we going to study the scriptures and preach? We have to study the scriptures and preach. Chaitanya is excited about having things, having a kingdom, and ruling, and Ishvara Bhava. Šatry uzrušuje ta představa, že bude mít svoje království a tam bude vládnout se svou Ishvara Bhavou. Brahman just wants to give me some books and leave me alone. Brahman říká, že dejte mi nějakou krapici a nechte mě na pokoj. 
Books me, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm not a box. I'm bound to the books. I said that one banana box. Because they had in the temple one. Everyone has this box. Box is a box, yeah. So then, the without love or hatred means he does his duty without attachment for for whether he likes it or he doesn't like it. No, the best task he ever done is to just get a soul from us that he doesn't even want to live. This was the the most difficult thing for our Jim was to fight against his relatives. I should have to go and tell you this. It's a problem. You know, boy, what about this? I'm so busy. I may have told you this story. If not, I'm going to tell you this again. If not, you'll hear it. I'm going to hear it. If you did, you'll hear it a second time. But I had some realization about that doing one's duty, even though it's difficult. Before my spiritual life began, I was engaged in some athletics. So sometimes in the competition, I would be faced against my own father, who was also an actor. So playing against your father, because you're very fond of your father, you want him to win. Well, actually you prefer for him to win. Who wants to defeat his father? It was very difficult. But that's not the the dharma of an athlete. He has to fight against whatever opponent he comes up against. So I had to overlook that and play my to my fullest capacity. That was my duty. Very painful. In one sense, we rather just let him win and let him go on because he's our beloved. That was our generous dilemma. How can I fight against Bhishma and Drona? They're worthy of my worship. How can I counteract that thing with weapons? Very difficult, but that's duty. For a chapter, he doesn't hesitate even to fight against relatives. So, without love or hatred, that's what it means. Not, well, my sense gratification, if I perform this action against the opposition, then I won't feel good, I won't, it won't make me happy. If, if one is thinking, I can't perform my duty because I, it won't satisfy my senses. Or if there's some friend on the other side, I can't, I can't perform my duty because I don't want to harm the friend. Then he's not performing his duty. Even Lord Krishna, he was he had to fight against his own son, Bhomasura, who's actually Krishna's son. Krishna Krishna He had to fight against him because he was he was acting against Dharma. Nothing more difficult than a father fighting against his own son. When Arjuna went to Manipur, his son was uh, to become the ruler. 
že Arjuna jde manipulovat tak tam byl jeho syn vládce. And so first the son didn't want to fight against the father, but it was his duty, so he fought to his full extent, and Arjuna was pleased with him. He defeated, he actually killed Arjuna, but then Arjuna was brought back to life. So, everyone has to perform their duties without desiring to enjoy the fruits for themselves. Without attachment. And to put it in the proper perspective, in Krishna consciousness means that everything we do should be for the satisfaction of the Supreme. Will Krishna be pleased by this action? Not, will I feel good by this action? Will my reputation be good if I do this? Will I get money from if I do this? Someone says, we have a nice service for you. Uh, we think, well, how much will I get out of it? Is this going to be pleasing to my senses? No, that's, that means we're attached, we're doing it mixed. Karma Mishra Bhakti, we're doing some devotional service for Krishna, some portion for Krishna, some portion for ourselves. So that's not pure devotional service. We're trying to learn how to perform pure devotional service. Just like Lord Jesus Christ, he showed an example of pure devotional service. He never considered what will be uh, to, for my best interest. Prabhupada never considered what would be for his best interest. Otherwise, he would have, as soon as he got to New York, he would have gone right back to India because he had two heart attacks on the way over. He would say, this is ridiculous. I'm 70 years old, I have no money. I'm in a foreign country in the winter time. If I have one more heart attack, I'm dead. I won't even pay anybody to perform my uh, cremation over here. I don't even have money to do a cremation. What to speak of arranging a samadhi? They don't even know what samadhis are here. No relatives, no students, nothing. It's absurd. Take me out of here. Get me back. Get me on the night. He could have told the captain, I'm coming back with you. When they arrived, he goes, said, okay, Captain, I'm going back with you. Your wife said that uh, it was good that I went with you because you had a calm, calm sea, so I'll go back with you. We'll have a calm return. But he didn't think like that. He thought, I may die, but anyway, I have to do my duty. My Guru Maharaj has given me this instruction. So for a Vaishnava, for a disciple, the instructions of the spiritual master become his main duty, his life and soul. Doesn't matter whether it's dangerous or boring. It's like a dog. We have to learn from the dog. Dog has good qualities. 
не соберет. Он вызывает из творчества такую лицу. How should Kshatriyas behave in the present time? How should they relate to the society? That's a long discussion and uh, it, it needs, I would say, quite a bit of um, study and contemplation. Probably give a few ideas, however. They're asking him about what, what would a what would a chapter look like? Se ptali, jak by měl kšatria vypadat. He said, no politician. Říkám, no politik. Because they're taking the administrator, they're the executive head. Jsou jako exekutiva, výkonné síly. Of course they're not. Then they asked him, what would they fight with bows and arrows? Ptali se, jaký měli bojovat s lukem a šípy? Probably said, no guns. Whatever weapons you need to execute the task. So the question is whether it has to be old-fashioned. It can also be modern. Takže to nemusí být jenom staromodní, že to je taky moderní. Artillery missiles also, guided missiles, Brahmastra weapons, nuclear weapons, everything. Takže na takové další země střelí dálko a jaderné zbraně všechno. Já jsem měl všechny zbraně. Všechny takové zbraně musím použít. Ok, děkuji velmi moc. Mám pár lidí taky.